You have also Pavel, done a lot of research on SDH, on subtitling for the deaf and the hard of hearing. Is there one particular favorite study that you would like to, uh, to tell us about? Oh, Jesus, this is again a, a very deep rabbit hole uh, that we, we could talk about for hours, but um, one piece of interesting research I did was on music, how to convey music in subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing. And again, it, it again boils down to my um, education as a film, um, my PhD in film studies because you need to realize what role music plays in, in a scene. And then you have these options how to convey it. Maybe you can skip it. Maybe you can, you know, highlight the mood, uh, you know, let's say, you know, romantic jazz music, or for instance, or soft instrumental jazz, something like that. Or maybe you need to specify that it's a particular piece, like, I don't know, a national anthem, or think of Imagine by John Lennon, which is an anthem of the hippies and the hippie movement. And there are a lot of associations people have with, with, with the song and the lyrics are specific. It's all very, very utopian, very idealistic. Maybe it's important to convey that from, from the point of the scene. So... Uh, is there one particular conclusion from that research you could share with us? Mm -hmm. Yeah, one maybe surprising conclusion is that you can very often skip the information on music. Because if the music is very often there in a movie to kind of crank the scene a little bit. If it's a if it's a love scene, you'll usually have romantic music. If it's an intense scene, you'll have some you know intense music, uh, if if necessary. If it's a sad scene, you can see the person crying. For instance, the, the music will be chosen accordingly, and you can very often skip it because it adds nothing to the scene. We as subtitlers, we learn that you should omit uh, things that are repeated, okay? Because they introduce nothing into the into the story they just divert the attention we know from eye tracking studies that whenever a viewer watches a material they look at the faces they look at the action where the action is and when a subtitle appears they kind of stop watching the material to read the sub and if something if there's something in the sub that's unimportant irrelevant uh, skippable you can skip it because the information is there on the screen. Um, deaf people who use the sign language are very good at mimics, by the way, because sign language, it's not only signs, but it's also mimics. Like for instance, in Polish sign language, this is angry, but you often, you know, you, you sign it this way. So there's mimics there, I'm angry. It's not just angry, angry, okay? You can see I'm angry from my face. Okay, so you don't necessarily need to add something that's pretty obvious. You can skip it and, and that's okay. Okay, the, the viewers will know. Uh, and I think, I mean, there haven't been any, te any tests, but I think that deaf people who sign are even better at reading emotion than we are because it's a common form of communication. It's a part of their language. So, so you can skip that if you want to. Uh, and that's that's not necessarily bad. I think subtitles are cluttered with uh, subtitles for the deaf are cluttered with uh, descriptions of music that are that do not include any any new information and that could be skipped. Obviously, we are not talking about other uses of music, like when music is used creatively. Uh, you have a you have a, a brutal scene, but the music is playful, for instance, okay? And there's, it's a dark comedy, for instance. And, and you know that the, the joke is there in the choice of the music. Or for instance, music can signal the place all of a sudden, I don't know. We moved to China in the story and you can hear these Chinese bells, these, these kind of that already make you think of, of China, for instance. So music can be used to, you know, mark a place, for instance. So in, in, in such cases, music should be there. But it's, if it's just for mood, usually mood is there on the screen. And that's enough. 